in the National Committee Organizing Program have a, a, a motto, and the motto is listening, power, and change. So within this concept, we thought about spoken. Mm -hmm. So spoken is a place where people from different culture, different background, uh, come together in a very non-judgmental um, space and use creative expression to explore societal issues, concern that everyone face, really and locally. I was lucky, lucky enough to facilitate a workshop um, with a lot of community organisers and um, we, they created poems based on issues that they felt passionate about and uh, their experience and advice that, you know, that they wanted to give. And uh, yeah, we, we created a collective poem. Um, so I thought it would be um, an honor, to be honest, to, to read out um, that, that poem to, to you today and kind of bring their spirit here. Um, so, so yeah, first of all, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna read it. It's called Collectivism. Collaborate, choose your tribe wisely. Open up, there is strength in vulnerability, listen learn, ask questions, be authentic, make organised action, community centric, recognise your strengths, accept your limitations and own it, give truth and transparency, expand your horizons, stand in solidarity, choose humanity over money, love over hatred for indifference will not drown out injustice but allow space for it, we must resist rise up and speak together. International and intergenerational relationships make us only stronger. Together, we can transform our world forever. You can begin today. It just takes a lot of faith. Faith in all those times when all seems lost, but still you carried on imagining a better future together and fought to make it happen because uniting under a common goal means never feeling alone, which can ignite a fire large enough within to make unstable systems burn. Trust in each other that you will win. And if that doesn't work out, the worst you can do is learn. Learn and research. Education is an investment in knowledge and pays the highest rate of interest. Rest, rise, repeat. Never underestimate resting. It's not that easy, but it's a sustainable solution to self-awareness of the psyche understanding and empathy to the warrior inside, ensuring you muster the strength to stand and consistently rise. Taking a small step of change every day when you feel you're losing the fight. Allow others to lend a hand and provide. Invest in your local assets and then never stop challenging what you think is right. Always look at the bigger picture, which may over time change. Business can be your friend and principles your most trusted guide, but listen to experience because you're walking in the footsteps of a long line who trod effective steps towards a better future for their entire lives because community is a basic need and a human right. Healthy communities depend on equality and social justice. Austerity is a lie, but nourish a soul with different perspectives. Grow your collective power and respect it. Eat together, act together, pass it on. This is a community organizer's book of revelations. Revelations, remember, everyone has value and the power to empower each other. Leaving no one behind, get to know one another. A community's love triumphs over hate. Investigate the past, but only action in the present creates change, no time like now. So let's help communities find the solutions to help themselves. Solutions. See the problem and move towards it. Own it and know it with precision. Listen. Unite with others who share our passion and with integrity together we can make a difference. Inspire whoever can instigate change by organising realistic aims and executing plans made but never forget to celebrate the change we have made because tomorrow is another day and we do it all again. Thank you. Thank you.